Uh, my name is Ben Martz. I am a senior at Thousand Oaks High School. I uh, play baseball and I'm a Green Hole leader. I've lived in Thousand Oaks my whole life. Uh, I was born at Los Robles Hospital and I've lived in the same house uh, since I was born. Um, I, have, I have three dogs. I have a cat too, Bob. My cat's name is Bob. He's really fat. I've been playing baseball for 13 years. We have a new coach this year. He, uh, he brought a certain sense of intensity to this, uh, to this year's team. We, we know exactly when to be really relaxed and laid back and joking around, having fun, and then we know when to flip the switch and like get laser focus and go win a baseball game. And we're there for a reason, and that's to get better. Uh, I always have loved to have fun, um, but I like to win because winning's fun. So, you know, in the end, it's the goal is to have fun, but I think in order to have more fun, you have to have that mentality of being intense and being locked in at all times in order to win, to have fun. I went to a camp at Northridge and I played pretty well. I hit a couple home runs and like that day they said, hey, we want you for a visit in two days. Like everything they did was just about me. Like I, it was such a personal experience. They made me an offer about two days after my, my, my visit and uh, it was kind of like a dream come true. I waited about two weeks and I called them back one day. One night I was just like, I want to go to Northridge. And they were like, all right, call them. And I called them and I said, hey, I want to commit. You know, there's a, there's a draft coming up for Major League Baseball in the, in the spring. And, uh, you know, the sky's the limit. If something happens, something happens. Uh, it'd be really cool. But, you know, I'm planning on going to Cal State Northridge. And then after three years there, we're going to see uh, how I pan out as a baseball player. and, and uh, if somebody likes me, then somebody likes me, and we'll ride it as long as possible. I'm a green hole leader. I like to uh, yell at people, and they yell back at me, and it's just really fun out in the green hole in the football games and the basketball games. There's a lot of energy, and uh, you know it makes my week when there's when I wake up that Friday morning and I get to think about what I'm going to be doing that night. I was in the sixth grade. My sister was a freshman at Thousand Oaks High School and uh, she would go in the green hole and I'd go to the football games and I'd like hang out on the grass, you know, like where all the middle schoolers are. And uh, like I saw like the green hole leaders and I was like, man, and I like looked up to these guys and I thought they were awesome and like everything about them was just super cool and I wanted to be exactly like them. Um, I'm really happy that I go to Thousand Oaks High School and I get to be a part of something as good as the green hole. I hear about other schools and just a terrible place to be with these kids and what they're doing. and. None of that's happening at Thousand Oaks High School. Um, it's a really special place to be. The people are great. The teachers are great. Everybody's just pushing for each other to succeed. Just liberating atmosphere of Thousand Oaks High School where you don't have to worry about, you know, being judged or when you walk around campus, people looking at you, making snarky comments, giving you looks. It's just you don't have to worry about that at Thousand Oaks High School. So I feel like it's really it builds up sort of a self confidence around yourself and how you feel about yourself and. It really allows you to express yourself and, and achieve in, in, in all aspects of, of school and life. I'd tell underclassmen to put themselves out there. I have learned that being uncomfortable is a really good thing. Um, you know, you look at things and you're nervous about them and you think, oh, I'm going to be really uncomfortable. But in the end, it's going to be good for you. So if you put yourself in un uncomfortable positions, you will you will be better because of it. Don't try and skip out on stuff just because you think that you're an underclassman and you won't have fun. I'd just say get involved in everything that you can at Thousand Oaks High School. If you don't do that, then how are you, how are you gonna grow as a person? And high school's all about growing and developing as a human being. So being a Lancer means everything to me. Some people say they're Warriors or Panthers or something. And, you know, they don't really care, it's not special to them. I'm like excited every day just because of how Thousand Oaks is as a, as a school and as an environment and the way the student body really has come together. And you know, it just makes me really proud to be part of that Lancer student body. So that, I'm just happy to be a Lancer. It means everything. I want to be known as the guy who was a part of the biggest green hole that Lou Lichtel had ever seen. 
the Green Hole at the Homecoming game, it was the biggest he had ever seen it. But I kind of just, I want to be known as that one high school baseball player who went to Thousand Oaks High School and then made it into the major leagues. That's like kind of my goal. Bleeding green means that you embody the environment of Thousand Oaks High School and you take it wherever you go. Wherever you end up, you're always positive, you're always carefree, you're always living in the moment and being accepting and uh, making people smile. And that, I really feel like that's the environment of Thousand Oaks High School. And, and uh, if you just bring that everywhere, that's what Bleeding Green is.